crossing the eastern plains, stretching below a modern city, beyond the foothills and across the earth, you'll find our roots, laid by explorers, scholars, rams. 150 years strong, those roots nourish us still. The creators, the builders, the ones who can't take good enough for an answer. The ones who push us forward. Today, we are thriving. It's easy to forget that this wasn't always here. The grassy quads, the stone buildings, the people. Not that long ago, this was a rising prairie. From that prairie, we grew. From a 16 by 20 shed, we grew. And from four students, we grew. With each step, we're building a place to match our ambitions. We're building a home for greatness. Our state isn't just four neat borders. Our state is a way of life. We live for progress. We live for growth. And we live with purpose. I think I was used to the feeling of being responsible for the person on my left and right. I was used to eight years of machine gun ranges, taking care of Humvees, and then all of a sudden here I am. Uh, coming to CSU was a shift from that into more of, you know, you're responsible for your own intellectual development, and uh, that was a different way to kind of engage my brain. In 2003, I joined the Marine Corps. Deployed to Iraq in 2005. Again, went on a deployment in 2009 while in Djibouti, Africa. I was responding to a training incident. Somehow fishtail, lose control, and me and the driver both get tossed out. I uh, tore my rotator cuff, broke a rib, collapsed a lung, broke five bones in my back, and then had a uh, basilar skull fracture. I was then sent to Bethesda, Maryland, where I spent about three weeks in a coma. My family was told that I was very close to death and they should expect it. After about three weeks in a coma, they started bringing me out of sedation. My brain stopped bleeding. I had to learn to speak, learn to use my hands, and I essentially had to start all over on how to function. I think the support systems that are in place at CSU are amazing for veterans. The New START program exists to help veterans with service-connected disabilities transition from uh, military life to college life. You're so used to being one of many, now they want to connect with you as a person. One of the things that I remember about Iraq was I'm going somewhere now because someone needs me there, because that was our mission. If that's dangerous, that's dangerous. If it's uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable. It doesn't matter because that other human being needs me there. Kuchinak Sejan Medanak Hokahanos Sota Koketeme Osota. I think what's really special about the location that we're in is that we're really close to the Rio Grande. And that plays a huge tie in um, our community. And I was always going to the river almost every week during the summer when I was a child. It's a really beautiful place. We have historic and cultural and ancestral ties to the land. And it's even more than just with the land. We have a relationship with all living things on the mountain. I'm studying to learn how to restore damaged and degraded ecosystems at the Warner College of Natural Resources. My main purpose for being here at CSU is to be able to take the knowledge I'm learning here and apply it back to different ecosystems within the reservation that are currently degraded or damaged from natural disasters or human-caused influences. 
In 2011, there was a really bad forest fire that impacted my community and a lot of surrounding communities. It damaged a lot of cultural sites as well as impacting every watershed that leads down into Cochiti Pueblo. I go into this job knowing that the impacts I make will reflect positively in the future for younger generations. Every day when I wake up, I'm able to pray to the spirits, to pray to my ancestors. I'm here because of the work that you did, because of the inspiration that you have instilled in me to want to be able to go home to take care of the land, pass on the language, the culture, all the traditional ecological knowledge that I've gained and I'm able to pass it down to my sister, to my brother, and hopefully one day to my own kids and grandchildren. CSU has this great vet school. Our program here at the Animal Cancer Center is one of the top cancer centers for animals in the world. We think of it like the Mayo Clinic, really, of cancer treatment for animals. The work that we've done in our lab, and actually my mentors before me, is looking at uh, new techniques for saving the legs of children with bone cancer. And that work was first pioneered in dogs with bone cancer. Currently, most kids that have to have that type of surgery where we're trying to save their legs, they have to have maybe 30 plus surgeries in their lifetime. And we're trying to fix that. And the way that we can do that is by utilizing dogs that have osteosarcoma, whose owners choose limb preservation surgery as part of their treatment. Utilizing some of these new therapies that we are discovering in the laboratory, it occurred to us that perhaps we can help both species. The work that was done here at CSU translated directly to changing how kids were treated, um, both from a chemotherapy standpoint as well as from a surgical technique standpoint. Many years ago, 70% of kids with bone cancer died within five years of their diagnosis, and now that statistic is reversed. 70% of kids live more than 10 years. You know, we still have a long way to go. In my mind, it's still not an acceptable statistic that we would lose anybody from bone cancer. It's this great opportunity for me as an investigator because I am a veterinarian and I went into this field in order to help animals, but I have a great passion for helping kids. And so I get the opportunity to do both. Just as Newton stood on the shoulders of giants, we are elevated by the generations of rams who come before. Upon their discoveries, we will cultivate ours. Because just like them, we didn't come here to be average. We came here to be great. And so all those who have hearts shaped like ovals and still don't mind a little mud on their boots, it's time to rise to the heights to which we are called.